So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the decimator tool in DAS 3D. It's really simple, and um, you get your figure. And there's some limitations to this as well, and I'll get to that in a second. Uh, what you want to do is you want to go up to there, go up to um, the the po or this panel tab on Windows, and go down, and you'll find a decimator tool and you want to prepare it for decimation and these little sliders will decimate it and um, as you can kind of see let me see here I've been using Unreal so I'm a little bit confused here um, and you just level it up and level it down and you hit done and you can do certain things with it but I had trouble when I bought this software how to actually use it and um, I'm not a pro at using it yet but I, this is just how to where to find it and how to use it a little bit um, now with some of the more complicated figures we'll go here um, I have this robot here Now, I just bought this, um, I haven't ordered the license or whatever to use it in video games or whatever. Um, I got it on sale for like $20. And we're going to go and we're going to, so there might be some limitations to this still. I just wanted to play around with it and see if it worked and if it was going to, be suitable for the applications in which I'm going to be using it for but more complicated shapes like this go to window panels tabs all the way down to um, and decimate it and we go to prepared decimation and it, it seems like it doesn't want to decimate tools like this maybe the I didn't I haven't attained the license for this yet but I've been slowly growing my DAS 3D um, library but um, in this particular case it's not responding and when it does respond it doesn't do anything so maybe I just haven't obtained the license but that's how you basically use DAS 3D uh, decimator tool and I believe I'm pronouncing that right um, if you like this video please like and subscribe and thank you for your time.